Harrison, I was thinking about that attack that we did last month. Right, the Arcast poisoning attack. Right, we were at the coffee shop and we were on the Wi-Fi sniffing that guy's packets and we could see all of his instant message communications in clear text. Yeah, reading passwords too. Right. Now, I was thinking there's some plugins for, like, game to encrypt your stuff or uh, Trillion. Yeah, but the problem with those is, first of all, Trillion is cracked. And second of all, with game, uh, you have to have this, this the, both clients have to have the same plugin installed. Right, and that doesn't encrypt all of your other traffic. So right, I figured, it's just specific. Why don't we let everybody know what we use here to encrypt our traffic and stay secure while we're on unencrypted wireless communications? Okay, well, we use a, a VPN, which is a virtual private network. And that's basically a tunnel between you and the server that's encrypted, encapsulated. If you were to sniff it, you wouldn't see anything but garbage. Just a bunch of garbage. Now, we use Server 2003 here. Right, but uh, you don't have to use Windows Server 2003. You can also do an XP, right? Yeah, that's one of the most overlooked features of Windows XP is there's actually a VPN server built in. It's not as robust as the Server 2003, but the only main limitation is that you can only have one concurrent user. Well, for a home network, that's not too bad, though. No, it's not bad at all. I use it at work to come into the home network and be able to get access to my MP3s, stream music if I don't have my uh, iPod on me. Cool. Well, why don't you so, show us how we do it? Sure. It's really easy. Just open up Network Connections, and we create a new connection, and we're going to create an advanced connection and accept incoming connections. Then we're going to skip that, go to Allow Virtual Private Connections. We'll select a user. And then we'll click Properties on TCP IP. And this is where we specify the IP range that we're going to assign to the right. users that log into the system. But if you so, use an XP, that's not yeah. really important because you only have one. Well, it's just connection. important to have a right. range. A range but, so that you know, there's only one IP address that's going to be used because it's one concurrent connection. So next, finish. And the only last step is to make sure that your port forwarding, in this case, it's 1723 because it's point to point tunneling protocol. So just make sure you port forward that to your server. router, right, to the server. And then we've got our incoming connection. All right, well, uh, what do we have to do on the client end? Now, the client end can be Mac, Linux, Windows XP, Windows 2000. There's right. even a download for Windows 98 and below. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have links to all that in the show notes. Okay. And to do that in XP, just create a new connection again. And we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to choose a network at my workplace, VPN, and then give it a name. I'm going to call it Home and tell it not to dial an initial connection because we're not on dial-up. I'm going to give it the public IP address. Public IP address or your Dyn DNS if you right. have service like that. And then after that, you just enter in your credentials. So I'm going to give it my username and password and save that and connect. And there we go. Yeah, we're connected to the home network. And if we go over to details, you can see that we've been assigned the IP address of 192.168.2.108 okay. and that the server is on 2.100. So all I have to do is go to backslash backslash the server's IP address. There you and go. There we go. That's so, all the shared files. Right. So now I can access all of my stuff that I have shared on my computer. Well, you can also do some pretty cool things uh, as well. Like, for example, you can access all of your shared iTunes music and. Uh, yeah, and if you've got an Airport Express, then you can uh, log into your network and blast your. Uh, oh yeah, your roommate, roommate away with music on the stereo. That's so. a lot of fun when Wes is home and not expecting it. Yep. So this is a great thing to do, and we highly recommend it for anybody who's planning on uh, using unsecured wireless networks. Yeah.